Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, Kumar Priya. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Namaste, Priya. Namaste, everyone. So we had taken this assignment yesterday, practicing step six of exercise one. Check if you have the feeling of harmony within you at every moment. Ask yourself if you have the feeling of harmony within. Will you have an acceptance for things outside <clears throat> or will you be disturbed when things <clears throat> outside don't happen as per your expectation? Reflect on the feeling of harmony within yourself. Reflect on the self-organization in various units in the existence and note your observations. So in step six, we were asking ourselves, what is naturally acceptable to me? Feeling of relationship or feeling of position? Feeling of harmony or feeling of disharmony? Feeling of coexistence or struggle? So in the previous assignment, we had tried to look at the natural acceptance of feeling of relationship. And in the assignment that we took yesterday, we tried to look at the natural acceptance of harmony. Now in exercise one, Basically, we are trying to observe the self as it is. It is observing the consciousness by the consciousness. So in step one, we try to look at the imagination as it is, in particular the feeling without evaluating, without judging, without reacting, without trying to change, without trying to impose anything, just as it is. In step two, we try to see whether the feeling that I have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not. That is whether I want the continuity of it or not. That is whether it is in accordance with human nature or not. In step three, we looked at the state of being of myself and tried to find out whether I am comfortable inside or not, whether I am in harmony or disharmony, happy or unhappy. In step four, we try to see who is responsible for the feeling that I have at this moment. Is it me or someone else or some situation outside? And we could conclude that it is ultimately me who decides the feeling. Now, all these four steps are very important. The first step itself is very important because they are, we are trying to be aware of the feeling, right? Generally, when we try to be aware about the imagination, we are able to see the thought, but not able to see the feeling. But here we are trying to see the feeling as it is. And I think gradually as we go on exploring, our clarity is growing. We are able to see our feeling more clearly. Now doing step one to four, we are able to see the feeling, evaluate it, and assume the responsibility, take the responsibility of my feeling. Now in step five, we are investigating further that who, basically the feeling that I have at this moment, what is the basis of that? From where did I get this feeling? Is it based on right understanding or some assumption about the reality, which I have not verified? <clears throat> then in step five, my exploration expands. Earlier, I was just trying to look into my feeling and evaluate it. Now I'm trying to dig down and trying to find out the various assumptions that I'm carrying <clears throat> within. If I if I'm not able to see the reality as it is, I must be assuming something within me. And I need to be clear about all those assumptions. So I try to look at the whole reality and look into my assumptions in step five. And then we are able to see that there's a lot to be understood. I may not have understood myself, the body, my relations, family, society. I'm just looking at all these realities with some assumption. My perception is colored by these assumptions, by preconditions or sensations. So we conclude that, yes, <clears throat> I need to understand. So basically, I need to understand if I want to be happy in continuity. So we are able to make out the need for right understanding in step five. 
Now in step six, we are trying to make out what is to be understood. If I have to ensure right understanding, what do I do? What do I understand? So now I again start looking within me and I try to investigate into my natural acceptance. Because through some exploration, I have been able to see that, yes, if I pay attention to my natural acceptance, right, then I can have clarity. So I start looking at my natural acceptance. What is it for? Is it for relationship or opposition, harmony or disharmony? So now if you see, the whole reality is clubbed here in three words, relationship, harmony, and coexistence. But you can see the expanse of the reality. So at the outset, one may say that, yes, I naturally accept relationship, harmony, coexistence, but that will not serve the purpose because the moment I try to verify this for myself, okay, more questions start coming up. Ultimately, what is relationship with this person in this situation? How do I fulfill it? Whether this is relationship only or something else, whether I want relationship only or something else, what is the meaning of want? What is natural acceptance? Now, is it that I want relationship with every human being or only few? With those few also, whether I want every moment or only on some moments. So many questions will come up. right? So in step six, again, my exploration further expands. Okay, what all is naturally acceptable to me? Let, it, let, it, uh, let, I make, <clears throat> let uh, me make it out. Let me look at it. And now I start investigating uh, my state of being, my natural acceptance in my every interaction. I try to find out myself without concluding, okay? Find out myself, what is acceptable to me naturally. Let me again say that concluding something is not that important. More important is the self-exploration. If, if the conclusion comes naturally, well and good. Otherwise, I'll just enter into the process and keep investigating. Right? Maybe analytically I can conclude something. If this, then this, else this. This is something that I'm doing at the level of thought, applying some logic. <clears throat> if this is relationship, then it will be fulfilled in this way else will lead to this kind of situation. Hence, I should be going for relationship. This is all at the level of thought. I have to observe at the level of natural acceptance. Isn't it? So, we'll conclude or we may conclude further later. But at this moment, we have to investigate. We have to look into our natural acceptance. And this is a very enriching process. The more I look at natural acceptance, I get more and more clarity. I will see the change in your feeling there. When I do not see the reality as it is, then I have doubts, I have fears. And those doubts and fears create so many problems inside me. I may feel insecure. I may feel anxious in certain moments. I may feel opposed, revengeful. I may get distraught in my own thoughts. Right? Sometimes I feel like rebelling in some relationships. Sometimes I feel like just uh, bowing my head and submitting to the other. I have so many fluctuations in my feelings, in my thoughts, in my complete imagination. I expect something at one moment, something the other moment. But the more clarity I get about the feeling of relationship, the more clarity I get about natural acceptance. Okay, all these fluctuations, their intensity and frequency keeps on going down and I feel empowered from within. Okay. You will be able to see your potential in the process. You will see that because of so many things that happen in our life, I failed on so many counts, though I could succeed on certain counts. Right? I have come to assume so many things about my potential, my being, my relations. If I have succeeded also, then I might have over myself on so many occasions. All those things I have done and they have got deposited in me layer by layer, layer by layer. A deep, you know, deep layers of preconditioning are there. But once I enter into this process, right, so 
some kind of sublimation starts in me and I start seeing the reality and all those conditionings start vanishing. And I feel more and more empowered. I feel I am able to see my potential. I have the potential. Each one of us has the potential to be a foundation of undivided society, foundation of universal human order, human tradition. While our living was subjected to only accumulating and, and enjoying some physical facilities, fulfilling a few relationships, now I can see the potential in me to guide the whole humanity. That kind of upliftment you know, can start in us. So here we are trying to look at the natural acceptance for harmony inside me. So we can take some reflections first of all for the assignment that was shared. Uh, sir, my observation is that if I uh, check the feeling of harmony within me, I realize that it is not there every moment. Many of the times I have the feeling of opposition, which are not naturally acceptable to me, but I am not able to develop self-organization 100% despite my efforts in this direction as we are in the 53rd day of the uh, workshop. Why it is so? This is the first thing. Second, is it with me or with majority of the people uh, around us? or who are connected to this workshop, please. Yeah, see, you are expecting the outcome, you know, now that you have started this journey. But I just say that much more is doable. It's not that you are able to see the relationship with little bit of exploration, because there are deep layers of preconditioning. So just enter into this process and Try to look into the reality. Try to look into your assumptions. Try to look into your natural acceptance. So it will take time. If just by listening to some words, you know, one would have gained right understanding. Right then, the whole world would have been living with right understanding. You have been listening to so many things, so many morals, stories. Right? It's not that just listening to some words will help. No. My observation as a pure observer is going to help me ultimately. And there also, I might have so many things to observe, which I have missed out. I might have overlooked so many things inside me. So you get into the process. It will take time. It's not that it is going to happen within a few days or months. No, it will take time. So it is, it is very right what you are telling. But my, my feeling is that uh, uh, when we are into this process, like we are every day listening to you and to Gopal sir, and, and we have very excited feelings about the uh, implementation of these things into our life, day-to-day -day activities at professional and personal fronts. But what happens, I think there is a difference between the theory and the practice. Uh, we may resolve in ourselves at 5.30 or 6.30 that definitely I will achieve the target, that I will not let me fall down uh, onto this way of the realization of uh, self-exploration, harmony, coexistence, relationships, etc. But even then things slip out of, of my hands. So I, I fail to understand at the end that why uh, I'm not able to exercise it uh, uh, to the optimum level. It's, it's very right that it is the beginning of the journey. There are deeper layers of understanding all these things and it may take, take a longer time. But these types of questions do keep coming to us so, so that uh, uh, so we need to discuss it uh, in this uh, two platforms. This is, this is my uh, observation. So let us go back to step one. Just ask yourself for how many moments in a day of 24 hours are you able to see the feeling? Sir, quite often we, we, are, we are working on this. You because, are working. But are you able to yeah. see the feeling? Because the way you are expressing, you know, it appears as if you are more looking at the expression part. You are trying to make things happen outside. No, right. what we are saying, what we are saying, you be observant of the feeling first. Okay? Right, right, sir. Yeah. 
if I'm not able to accomplish step one, how will I proceed to step two, three, and up to seven? So first of all, try to see whether you are able to see the feeling or only the thought. Presently, you are able to see the thought, but may not be the feeling. If you try to look right. at the feeling, you know, then you will get right. much more clarity. So right. ask yourself the purpose. You are thinking something. You know, what is the purpose behind it? How do I relate to it? Okay. Right, sir. I and try to work for this. You can also even drop the words. Just observe. Do I have some feeling or not? It may appear in the being that there is no feeling as such. Yes. I am thinking. I am analyzing. I am doing all this. But what is at the back of all these feelings? What is uh, triggering these thoughts? I have to make out. So. Practice step one first. And there's no need to hurry. You see, it may take a long time. <laughs> so we are so <laughs> deeply, deep. you see, uh, you just try to observe what changes have you made in your life through this exploration so far. We are still busy with our day-to-day -day life. You know, in our profession, in our family, in our social networking, all those things, we are still busy. And we are spending some time out of our daily routine doing self-exploration. This will not do yeah. this will but actually uh, we, 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 have, we are working on the thought we are working on the feeling but uh, i feel these things get messed up somewhere so yeah messed up. Means... in fact let me say they don't get messed up i mess it up right very right so i mess it up because my own priorities are not clear so i myself is the responsible for uh, for for the happening of all this Yes. Who else? Yes. I am looking at some situation in my own way. And my own way is based on my own conditionings. And I am not exposed to my own conditionings. Absolutely right, sir. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. One person, it is a story. That one person was trying to see the reality you know, and was making some effort. Then he met a teacher and he said to the teacher that, see, I have been working for so long, but I'm not able to see the reality. You know, what to do? Then the teacher took him to, it is a story, the teacher took him to a river and then they stepped inside the river and the teacher suddenly pushed the head of the student into the water of the river. And he kept it just like that. This student was you know, trying to save the life by all means. Then the teacher gradually brought the person out of the water and then you know, said, how did you feel? Said, what did you do? You never told me like this that you are going to do. And you just, you know, I was just going to die the way you were doing like this. And the teacher asked that when I was pushing your head inside water, did you have the desire to see the reality? He said, what to see the reality? I had to save my life. I had to save my life. Then he said that when you have this kind of desire to see the reality, you will see it. So the essence of the story is that we may not have the desire also to see the reality. We are just expecting something as an outcome. Baljit ji. Yes, yes, sir. I'm listening. This is, uh, sir, this is very um, apt example at this moment uh, related to my point. Nice, Bhaiya. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Namaste. everyone. Yes. Uh, just, uh, uh, today I want to uh, give my reflection of my uh, yesterday experience. Uh, actually, uh, what happened in the 2021 that in our external BOS, I'm from the computer science, so we are we are going to decide our okay. syllabus, and uh, um, uh, they decided that that operating system is one of the core subject is going to be an elective subject. 
so at that time uh, i can we try to convince all the members that see this is a core subject we can't put at a elective subject but somehow except me all are agree that uh, yes it can be a elective subject so i was very disappointed at that time and uh, then i uh, uh, aggressively put my point that see this is not the case we have to see the aict performance and everything but anyhow they put that subject as a elective subject uh, and that time i was very uh, uh, upset also now the same thing happened yesterday our uh, uh, curriculum design workshop is going on and uh, for the bachelor level uh, we are going to design the uh, Uh, syllabus and in that syllabus again uh, we are putting the subjects and uh, again it comes to the operating system so again they decide that that okay operating system will be minor i didn't have any uh, uh, reflection on that uh, i accepted that i don't have any any kind of uh, uh, thing that whether it is bad or good or nothing and then they suddenly say that that uh, this is a practical oriented subject but due to credit balance we have to skip this so we are not uh, providing practical of this subject so again i don't have any um, opposition in me but yes earlier it was that that if they have decided something like this which is not according to the streamline so uh, yes it was that earlier at, uh, uh, that i get uh, i have a po- lot of opposition but yesterday the thing was very simple i have accepted this okay whatever they have decided they may have a uh, larger experience and then uh, uh, they are the decision maker so they can take this but uh, earlier it was not that so this was the change i i can see in myself so this is the really? reflection Very nice. observing you. You know, such moments and observing oneself that i am not getting irritated frustrated angry opposed in even in these moments it is quite enriching thank you thank you bhaiya namaste bhaiya namaste to all my boys namaste uh, i am able to uh, maintain the harmony in me with uh, All other things, all units in the nature. But uh, except uh, uh, yesterday, I come with the question that uh, if uh, I try to uh, maintain harmony with uh, any addicted people, uh, but uh, it is really very difficult for me uh, without getting any uh, in harmony. because uh, even though trying to uh, make them uh, free from the addict it is very difficult for saying they may uh, uh, express they are listening and they are obeying but never it is happen because of the weakness they have so such people uh, i have not uh, disturbed much but uh, little bit uh, in harmony in me Uh, and showing some compassion and pity towards them, but uh, what can we do in those situations? When we want to make relationship, uh, it is uh, unbelievable. Not uh, cannot believe the, such people. See, the way we have been discussing about the feeling of trust. So, are you able to see that intention is one thing, competence is something else? Yes, yes, yes. So if I am able to see this very naturally, that in the intention of every human being is pure, and the competence is lacking, so I start yes. complementing my relationship in a process to develop the competence of the other. Yes. So I can always have a program to develop the competence of the other. It may be the case that just by using some words, talking, discussing, the things are not going to work in limited time. That is fine. This is quite possible. the person wants to understand but whether he will understand through me at this moment you know may not be there yes because the person may have so many preconditionings yes so that is something common to each one of us yes only that you are into the process of exploration the other person has not been entered the process of exploration right 
So we have to help him enter the process of exploration. And even after entering into the process, we are able to see so many things which are deterring our process of exploration. Right. The other person will also take time similarly. But uh, not only that the addiction of uh, some drinking or smoking, but uh, suppose if we cons uh, cons uh, consider food also, suppose some people uh, used to eat uh, over eating and the habit, they are unable to uh, get rid of that habit. And uh, for example, my son won't take any sweets, fruits, anything. He only will take uh, this namikin like uh, uh, items. As much as uh, he can consume, uh, he is very much, very much like to consume more and more. Why? Even though I say a lot, he never takes uh, fruits and uh, sweets uh, like those items. Yeah. So, so ask yes. him, why is it happening? Yeah, he likes this, these only, those items uh, never like. Uh, even he is uh, very uh, less than any skin. Yeah, so he wants to be happy and he's trying to fetch happiness through sensation. Yes. So the yes. core issue is not whether one has to consume junk food or healthy food. The core issue is that whether one is able to see the source of happiness inside or even uh, or trying to take happiness from outside. That is the core issue. So I'll again help the other person develop so that the happiness becomes innate to oneself. So in place of fetching happiness from tasty things, one can be happy by oneself and right to utilize the food for health of the body. Presently, we are mostly using food for taste, ignoring the health of the body. So just giving some do's and don'ts, sermons will not help here. The person is not able to see the purpose of food. He's trying to fetch happiness through food. While food is need of the body, not the self. So all that has to be clear. It may not be clear in a day or two. Okay. But I have to be clear. This, this has to be clear to the other. I can have this kind of clarity inside me. But ultimately, the other person needs to have this clarity. Unless the other has this clarity, he or she will be committing a mistake. So with children, you know, we try to develop a process of exploration gradually in the family. The person is looking at our living, the child is looking at our living, the child is looking at my behavior, listening to my words. Okay. And now if the child has grown, he is also taking inputs from outside. Yes. What is the age of the son? 10 years. 10 years, sir. So not much exposed to the outside world. So you have to make out yourself. Yes. Uh, so many junk foods of the child. Then he will give some answer. Listen to that answer carefully. Uh, just don't prepare an answer for the answer given by the child. Many times when we are talking to someone, particularly in the family, we keep ourselves prepared for some response because if I do not respond in a given time, the other person may feel like beating me in the debate. So that is not the case. Listen to what he's saying. Try to make out the essence of it. Yeah, yes. He can differentiate uh, clearly. That the, he, he himself says, this is junk food. This is, because teachers also will tell in the school. Uh, no, just calling him that like junk food will not help. Why I am taking this junk food at all? Yes, yes. That has been made out. Yes. Again, labeling something as good or bad is not going to help me. Yes, yes. For example, if you train a person to think that these are healthy foods, right? Yes. And these are not healthy foods. So don't go for such kinds of foods, junk foods. Go for healthy foods. Yes. One may train the other person like that. But the other person is not clear why to have health. Yes. In fact, there are people who may uh, give a higher priority to test over health. Yes. Let the body get damaged. Let the you know, yeah. diabetes problem be uh, going up. Let the BP be high. Let the cholesterol get deposited in my body. But taste is more important. Because they assume that this is the way to live a happy life. Enjoying, merrymaking, you know, 
eating, drinking, all those things are going to make a happy life. And this is a very strong kind of conditioning. If you look at the societies that are there even existing today, you can see that this has become the way of life. They are not clear about happiness. They assume merrymaking and enjoying sensations only to be the source of happiness. In fact, there has been a person who gave a philosophy in Indian tradition, he's called a Charvak, Charvak philosophy. Because even, uh, I'm not remembering the name of the person exactly. That Charvak philosophy says that you know, sensual pleasures are the only source of happiness. So enjoy as much as possible. There is one life and you have to enjoy it to the fullest. Oh. So this kind of assumption has been there in the East as well as this. Oh, so the child is no exception. Yeah. So we have to look at the bigger picture. That can we resolve this particular thing? And I have to ask myself also. So do I consume food for health or taste? Yes. It may be that eighty percent time I'm consuming for health, but at least twenty percent time I'm consuming for taste, which is spoiling my health. Yes. That may also be there. So get into dialogue with the child, you know, let the child speak up. And then try to look within yourself that how I can resolve yes. my child when he's saying something like this. I think uh, if uh, he grows and uh, maturity level increases, uh, then he can understand. No, how will the maturity level go up? It is through exploration. Yes. Otherwise, yes. Uh, yeah, exploration. Because his friends would be misguiding him. Yeah. The society outside would be misguiding him. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, Vinay? That is, that is difficult to avoid uh, because friends and society and then after those things are very, very difficult to control or avoid. Yeah, see, the solution to every problem is self-exploration. <coughs> self yes, yes. And ultimately, we have to go for this. Yeah. Everyone has to go for this. We may only defer the process, but ultimately, we have to go for this. Yeah. That is the only is yeah. 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 But yeah. Yesterday, I was able to see that uh, during a departmental discussion, I was able to put forth my thought process uh, that there was pertaining to the consultancy work. That's the, the meeting was there. And uh, I said uh, not to increase the prices of uh, the visits that we do for uh, consultancy. I said that there is a social connectivity and let us help the people and all that. That was there in my thought process. And I, so I put forth my thought. But what I was able to see is there was the disturbance within we, uh, because I think when I am trying to see the reality, I think I have to have a larger perspective and I am only seeing towards what a small window. That was what I was able to see. And when I, uh, I when I took my understanding part to a larger extent, like uh, uh, the person who has proposed for an increase in price, is that he is looking for the physical facilities or what might be the issue. So there, after a minute or two minutes, I was able to see that I was only looking at my own small window where I, I thought that could only help. So understanding the reality about any aspect of uh, happening uh, in a larger perspective, we take uh, uh, that I believe it's more of, uh, of reality could be a much more bigger task. That's what I was And that connectivity of my natural acceptance was only with that perspective only, I, I am able to see this decently, but I, I believe that would be a longer process as we see, them because we are only seeing through a small window of our own understanding, acceptance, that's what it is once again, not understanding of the reality. Reality is a bigger picture what I am able to see in these uh, recent discussions. And whenever I am away from this uh, reality, I am always disturbed by it. That's what I am able to see. Yeah, that's what is my understanding. Can Glad. Nice feeling, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that's true. That when we are into some situation, we look through a very small window, while the yeah. reality is much, much larger. And 
in fact if i try to investigate any reality any aspect of reality right as a pure observer then from there i can get to see the whole reality also for example in exercise 2 we are trying to look at the interaction between self and body now just observing the body i am able to look at the whole material world similarly consultancy is just one occasion when i started exploring into something and then i can see my role for an undivided society universal human order why i am doing the consultancy what is the purpose of this you know? so if any if i keep on asking this kind of question why to myself i get connected to the whole reality yes yes that is yeah. yes nice dear thank you but that once again that's a process though. it is a big it's a process i i i should not uh, yeah understand that, okay this is what it is and i had gone through with that or done with it that's not there i mean that's what it is yes it is a journey for 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 me at least and for every one of us thank you yes bhaiya and the more sincerely we do the foundational work yeah seeing observing my feeling observing my natural acceptance yeah na my development would be faster but if i start expecting the outcome in a very short span of time then i may miss out the observation part that is also there yes yeah yeah thank you bhaiya thank you good day namaste good day bhaiya namaste bhaiya namaste sabhi ko namaste so bhaiya was talking about uh, junk food recently i could uh, i mean hear that uh in this regard i would like to share something um my uh, daughter and son during the lock uh, lockdown or after that especially they had lot of craving for uh, this kind of food so if, uh, after every 15 days they would like to say a lot of days have passed we would like to order uh, pizza and all like that they used to uh, nag behind then uh, even my daughter was uh, staying in pune so whenever uh, she had a craving she could eat she had that freedom but then uh, slowly she herself uh, being a psychologist and having more understanding she realized that it could not happen so she herself decided for uh, um, herself that uh, i will uh, that she made a pizza day like uh, 9th of the month every 9th of the month i will uh, have pizza she made it a um, a mandate kind of for her son and then when she came back she also decided the same thing like uh, for her brother also like what we will do is um, we will do it uh, on a particular date so um, now what has happened is uh, every now and then uh, my son also doesn't ask for uh, that kind of things he is uh, clear with with the concept that okay in in every month on this date i will have somehow if uh, that date uh, misses because uh, we go somewhere here and there then what we do is some another day uh, instead of that date we get uh, the pizza for him and earlier he used to um, ask for a larger pizza and he could to put put a uh, few pieces in the fridge for the next day then uh, i made him realize that uh, already it is a junk food and you are still keeping it in fridge and then eating the next day it's going uh, just look and if we make habit of eating more uh, we need more and more and it spoils the health so with it with this discussion uh, he i mean he lagged a lot uh, initially but then uh, just look at your health just i i persisted on that and i could find that uh, last this month uh, instead of medium uh, we ordered the small and whatever other uh, things he wanted and then uh, he ate them and he was satisfied and he didn't discuss anything about that further he could find that uh, parents are looking for the better health and uh, things things went well now rest of the month he will never ask for the pizza <laughs> the next month again on the same day he will remember and he will ask for it so things are going well and in between also he doesn't ask for outside food or uh, generally don't ask for some reason if we go out sometimes we may have but like that it has happened so i think this can be done you can we can fix uh, okay in favor of health we can slowly cut down like for first of all we can make it 15 days and later month or so 
so this helped us uh, so that's what i, I would like to share because yeah, this could be one mechanism you know, of fixing yes. things yes and with the children we'll see that as the body is growing so different kind of changes are taking place in the body so they may look for different kind of sensation also from time to time. So we have to accept that part also because they may not just enter into the process of exploration. So to some extent, we have to allow for this. Otherwise, they will also feel unrelated to us. It may be the yes. case. So to some extent, we have to allow. And at the same time, we have to help them keep exploring also. Right. And uh, same is the case with the uh, mobile. Uh, earlier during the lockdown or before that he had developed a habit to watch for long hours but then uh, again we fixed up the time every day you will get for uh, 15 minutes is what we have decided now and when it will be a, uh, a holiday on holiday uh, you will get it for 20 minutes is what we had decided and now uh, so in between sometimes he nags behind us uh, that is there but then uh, we have said that no mobile is harmful for health and we have already decided 15 minutes so we have, your 15 minutes are over like that so in between in between for some other some of the other reason he asks for it but then we have to be firm on it so that uh, it is for his benefit is what we have uh, done this uh, and another thing is about the television yet we have to work on that. Earlier, we had fixed the television time also. But then in the afternoon, uh, parents are not at home. So uh, he utilizes, I mean, he takes the benefit. And, he, and anyway, there is also need to relax after coming from school. Like for at 3 p.m. if he comes, then um, he puts on the TV. And for one or two hours, he uh, ensures that he watches. And even in the it. night. Yes. We can take all such measures, yes. We can take yes. all such measures. But essentially, we have to also see that we do not have to only fix things at the level of living. You know? mm. We have to help the child explore at the level of feeling also so that the decision comes naturally from him or her. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Nice, Didi. Namaste, Kumar Bhaya. Namaste, all. Uh, when I see my imagination and object of imagination, I sincerely desire a harmony uh, in all the units, in all expands of life. And uh, <clears throat> when I go with to a stage where after the fifth stage, fifth um, the point uh, step, uh, I go to the, I necessarily, many times, not necessarily, many times I uh, think of or I imagine about my relationship with all other units in uh, existing in perfect harmony means having a relationship with each other and supporting each other and fulfilling each other. And after that, uh, I transcend to, uh, to the, to the, uh, to bigger things in the bigger units like earth, sun, the Milky Way, all those things and in comparison to that i find that i have no no place and i am i feel like merging in in the the whole thing and i lost my entity for a second of or fraction of second then i am conscious that yes uh, i got this this experience and uh, i see another observation of me is that uh, when I see something, uh, whether it is naturally acceptable or not, I always see it through my past. Means, the suppose I am telling you that this at this moment, even before some seconds, about this basing on that, 
idea or experience i see the present but uh, what i desire is that i i should i must forget the past and i must be depending on my present so that present is more precious and that can fetch me the happiness and continuously and regard feeling that happiness or harmony every moment this is not being possible I mean, even if i try but i forget in my household works and other activities but i try to do it most of the time i am i'm feeling very happy and harmonious and uh, i without going to other states i feel that whether that should continue or i should go for the steps this is my question and the rest of the things i have told as my reflection thank you fine we are also saying that these are not the only steps they are the you know, proposed steps so if you feel that something else is also helping out well and good but the way you are sharing so it may be the case that you are imagining about the reality the first part that you share is very important if at the level of natural acceptance, you are able to connect yourself to the entire existence. You know, that is very good. But that has to happen at the level of feeling or natural acceptance and not at the level of thought. This is one thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And second yes. thing, you may be missing out certain things. So try to look into that again and again and see whether you are able to see the feeling, evaluate the feeling, you know, accept your responsibility look into the basis of that feeling and then transform the feeling. Ultimately, this is what we are going to do, whether we do it in 7 steps or 70 steps. You all have to go through this, isn't it? I have to look into the natural exercises. Now, yes. <clears throat> now, it may be the case that with some exploration, sometimes... <clears throat> so one may directly go to step 6 also, for example. One may directly yeah. go to step six and ask oneself what is naturally acceptable to me. So in that case, I am not evaluating my uh, current state. I am directly looking at the reality. This is possible. Okay. But this may not be uh, a complete process. So when I go to do that, again, my old preconditioning and assumptions start hampering the process. Then again, I'll have to start from one. But I can start from step six A also. Just by asking myself and looking at the reality, if I am able to connect to the whole reality by looking to natural acceptance, so nice. If we are able to do this, so nice. But many times we are not able to do this. So we can make an evaluation of the current state and then go for this. Otherwise, you okay. can start from 6A also, quite possible. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice, Bia. Good sharing. So, we are practicing step 6 of exercise 1. So, in 6a, we are able to see that it is important to understand the feelings that are natural for me, the feelings that I want in continuity. So, you are asking what is naturally acceptable, relationship or opposition, harmony or disharmony, resistance or struggle. And entering into the process, I may naturally conclude, and I'm saying naturally conclude, not analytically conclude, that it is ultimately a feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony, feeling of coexistence that is naturally acceptable to me. So once I'm able to see this, then I can see where I was caught up in step five. Why I was having those many assumptions? Because I was not able to see this particular thing inside me. Now when I'm able to see this, then I'll try to ensure this. So what I have to do to see the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence? For that, we go to step 6b. So therefore, I need to ensure right understanding, and that is understanding of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, which essentially means that I need to contemplate on relationship, my participation. That potential to contemplate is there in me. I have to utilize it. I need to understand harmony, self-organization. I need to realize coexistence. So to see the relationship also, I do not have to rush outside. To see harmony, I do not have to run here and there. To see coexistence, I do not have to tour the world. 
just by looking into my own potential to contemplate, to understand, to realize, I can see the reality. So nice that the whole existence is reflected in me through a space. That part which is innate, universal, that part which is you know, unchanging is already reflected in me. And when I start looking at it, I'm able to see the reality. So to see the existence as it is, I do not have to tour you know, the whole existence. You know, there I can only get to see the form and property. I will not be able to see the relationship, harmony and coexistence. For that, I have to be with myself, observe myself, my natural acceptance, and then ensure it. So I already have this potential inside me to contemplate, to understand, to realize. Yeah, can we go to the next slide? So if you see this diagram, right? So if you look at the diagram on the bottom, so these activities are not yet active in somewhat dormant state because I have not paid attention to it because I am not looking inside. I am trying to look outside and I have not been able to develop my desire also to know. Okay, because maybe the assumptions are working well in my life. I have derived so many formula for a congenial, comfortable life. With these kinds of people behave like this, with those kinds of people behave like this. Whenever the boss asks something and you know, I say something or the other, trick the boss, you know, use some words, you know, which can serve the purpose. So I might have made so many formulas for a comfortable life. And that's how I'm never ever trying to look within and trying to see what is my natural existence. But yes, when I'm caught up in some critical situations, then I am forced to see the, or at least forced to feel that, see, I have not done my job. I have not seen the reality. For example, if somebody dies in the family, you become so much unhappy. Why? Because while you are living, I was not able to see, or not even trying to see human being as coexistence of self and body. Now when the person is gone, right, and I'm feeling unhappy, then I feel that, yes, I have missed out something. So it may be the case that we have not tried to look within and that's why these activities are not awakened. Gradually I have to awaken them and the potential is already inside me. I have this potential. These are my activities only but I was unaware. Isn't it? It may be the case that getting so much information from outside I was lost in all those information. I was not giving the priority even to understanding. Right. And I might be considering these as some special qualities of some special people born for some special purpose. No, it is nothing special here. You are talking about excellence, not specialities. And everyone has this potential to become excellent. Everyone has the potential to live with happiness and continuity. Everybody has the potential to see the whole reality as it is. Right. It's only that I have to come to see it. And for that, I have to you know, reset my priorities. I was engrossed with accumulation, indulgence of physical facilities so much, right? That I could not even pay attention to my relationship. Now, when I go to pay attention to my relationship, there is some shift taking place. But the feeling is not clear. I am trying so much to fulfill my spouse, but he or she never gets fulfilled. So where am I going wrong? So maybe I am trying to fulfill the relationship through physical facility or sensation and this will never work. So I have to look into the feeling. Then when I go to see the feeling, I have to contemplate. Now I may feel that not every person in the society is doing all this. Even to live happily in a family, do I have to do all this? Or by working by some simple formula will also work. And you know, will also do the things will also serve the purpose so many times you feel that oh not all this is required for a comfortable life this is going to make my life more uncomfortable so again we reset our priority so when you get caught up in the situation which is adverse unfavorable then we you know think of 
looking within we think of getting right understanding but when situation is comfortable right conditions are smooth then we seldom pay attention to this so that's how i'm not able to give the right path to right understanding in my life so these activities are not getting awakened while the potential is there inside me all the time ji samudeshwari ji acha you load your hand yes any question there subriya ji suja ji i'll take your question bhaiya can you go to the next slide where the assignment is there yeah so for example we can see that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me if i have a feeling of opposition for someone even for a moment it is not naturally acceptable to me and i am in a state of unhappiness within at that moment in fact gradually as you enter into exploration you will be able to see that the moments which i used to call as normal and or natural i was unhappy there i was not in harmony there though i was calling it as a normal life yes i assume that yes all these things are normal in life sometimes reactive sometimes accepting sometimes in you know, anxious sometimes at peace sometimes full of joy sometimes you know feeling depressed all those things i might be accepting like this only but now when we are entered entering into this process of exploration we are able to look at unhappiness more closely right you can see that you can ask yourself if the feelings inside me are not guided how can i be happy so the more closely you look at your state of being the more you know clearly you are able to see what unhappiness means and what happiness means similarly we can see that what is naturally acceptable to me is a feeling of coexistence if i have a feeling of struggle even for a moment it is not naturally acceptable to me and i am in a state of unhappiness within we can contrast this with what we are teaching to our children in the name of natural evolution struggle for survival and survival of the fittest so we are carried away by so many assumptions you know and we try to logic it out we try to uh, defend such assumptions also by looking at something so i look at plants and assume something about human being i look at animals and assume something about human being i read the history and assume something about the human being so this way i might be assuming so many things ji 